if I gave you $72,465 and only 15 minutes to spend it, what would you do? Maybe you'd jump online and place an order for a Tesla Model Y with the performance upgrade. Maybe you would go to your local McDonald's and order 18,116 Big Macs. Or maybe you would buy 17,852,000 gems in the mobile war strategy game Rise of Kingdoms and use those gems to train 16,600,000. 39,000 tier five units. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I personally would take the Tesla, but if you're a whale, just like Justin in rise of kingdoms, then this is what you might do with that kind of money. At this point, Justin is a well-known whale in rise of kingdoms. And the other day I actually made a video showing off the entirety of his account. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check it out on the channel. But after I posted that video, Justin sent me this video saying, Hey, Omni, if you want to take a look and share this with your audience, this is me just gemming troops in rise of kingdoms. And a lot of people really seem to like this type of content, not because it's like visually appealing to look at, or because it's necessarily very exciting, but really because of the shock and awe factor, the disbelief that people are in when they understand how much money is really being spent in the span of about 15 minutes and 23 seconds now I might speed up the video here on the channel just because I I mean who's actually gonna sit there and watch it for 15 minutes he's just spamming the gem button basically but when Justin sent me this I was like hey man I'm gonna share this with my channel but I cannot make a video about this without at least talking about the value of the gems here okay and he wouldn't tell me what the uh what the gem value was here and typically Justin is pretty reserved when it comes to the amount spent on his account so I went ahead and did some math to figure out approximately how much this amount of gems would be worth. And it's worth noting that with games like rise of kingdoms, there are so many different bundles and in-app purchases that you can make that arriving at the total gem number of 17,852,000, you could do it in a multitude of ways. Some ways it may be cheaper to get to that number. Other ways it may be more expensive, but I do know that Justin does typically max purchase the bundles that we see in the shop relatively frequently. I don't know how many bundles he purchases per day, but these bundles are tiered, meaning you can't just go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars on a single bundle. No, if you want to get the maximum value out of the war machine bundle which is the bundle that will primarily help you train troops then you have to first purchase the five dollar bundle then you'll have access to the ten dollar bundle then the twenty dollar bundle then the fifty dollar bundle and then you'll be able to buy the one hundred dollar bundle up to three times and that is per day so if you do the math that entire bundle from start to finish costs 385 us dollars i don't know what currency justin is operating in so we're just going to assume that it's us dollars and most of the bundles here in the game no matter what they specialize in will usually give you the same amount of gems if you make that maximum purchase and a full bundle purchase here in rise of kingdoms for 385 dollars gets you 94,850 gems now it's worth noting you could just buy gems straight up but typically players will buy them from the bundles because all of the extra stuff that you get from the bundle is just very useful and typically provides a lot of value as opposed to just straight up buying the gems so that's why we're going to go with the calculation here of the bundles so if we take the total number of gems that you get from a single bundle and divide it by 385 we know that a single dollar will get you 246.36 gems now at the beginning of this absolutely ridiculous clip that i've shared he had 17 million eight hundred and fifty two thousand seven hundred and forty eight gems so if we assume that justin always got his gems from max purchasing bundles and nowhere else then we can take that total number of gems and divide it by one dollar's worth to get the total value of those gems which is $72,465.03 worth of gems. Now, it's also worth noting that this calculation does not take into account all of the value that he gets from the speed ups and the resources and the VIP points and everything that comes along with those bundles that we showed before. So he's getting more than just gems, but 
in general in this video we're talking mainly gems and in the video he started pressing the gem button at the 30 second mark and the last time he finished or the moment that he ran out of gems was at the 15 minute mark and 53 seconds so the total time it took him to spend down seventy two thousand dollars worth of gems was just over 15 15 minutes 15 minutes and 23 seconds to spend down seventy two thousand dollars worth of gems that is absolutely incredible now a couple of other fun statistics right in the video he does train troops 1404 at a time I'm not entirely sure why he does that but the gem cost of that specific troop is 1503 which based on the calculation we did before means that 1404 troops costs six dollars and ten cents to train in gem value so every time he presses that gem button it's essentially charging him six dollars and ten cents and i know that's not exactly how this works okay i i'm i'm fully aware but in some ways that sort of is what's happening okay reality is not that far away from this and you can see how many times he presses that button i mean he's spamming it the whole time it's absolutely ridiculous now at the start of this video he had one billion sixty three million nine hundred and five thousand power and at the end of the gem portion of the video he had one billion two hundred and thirty million three hundred thousand power so he gained 166 million 394,280 power in just tier five units in 15 minutes and 23 seconds that's almost double the entire power of my three-year-old account in 15 minutes that's absolutely ridiculous and since we know that a single tier five unit is equivalent to 10 power in the game we know that Justin was able to accumulate 16 million 639 thousand 428 tier 5 units in that 15 minute and 23 second span which is absolutely ridiculous hopefully Justin isn't too upset with me sort of shining a spotlight on this level of spending but I find it fascinating and I think that you guys probably find it fascinating as well I do just want to say as a disclaimer do not message this player asking for money that's incredibly rude and I, I just I shouldn't even have to say it okay but I do want to ask you guys do you think that this should be allowed in gaming like I'm not saying what Justin did is wrong it's his money he can do whatever he wants with it I'm not even really pointing the finger at rise of kingdoms right because rise of kingdoms is owned by Lilith games they are a, a company and the sole purpose of that company is to maximize profits so clearly the financial model that they're using for this game is successful for some people like Justin who has them who have the money to spend and who think that the entertainment value provided by this game is worth that amount of money so hey good for you rise of kingdoms for making this sort of cash but I'm sort of pointing the finger at governments right federal governments whether it's the United States government or other foreign countries should this level of spending in a mobile game be allowed games like rise of kingdoms have so many gambling tactics built into them that it sort of short circuits the logic portion of our brain and encourages us to spend money myself included that maybe we wouldn't otherwise spend I mean imagine walking into Walmart or Target or GameStop and you look at the shelf of all the ps5 games and you see up there call of duty is seventy thousand dollars you're like mm, should i buy call of duty today for seventy thousand dollars i don't think anybody who's operating from a position of logic would spend that kind of money on a single game and yet here we are with games like rise of kingdoms that have this happen i mean uh, justin's not the only one i'm telling you that right now so in a world where a logical person would not spend seventy thousand dollars on a game like call of duty and yet they would spend seventy thousand dollars on a game like rise of kingdoms i think it's pretty clear that the tactics used in games like this are relatively manipulative which is why i asked the question should it be allowed in games and i'm genuinely asking i'm not trying to tell you one way or another but one thing i do know is that if a game is manipulative in this way the other thing we have to ask is should kids be playing games like this surely they don't have seventy thousand dollars to spend or maybe they do if they have access to their parents credit card and they own an oil company across the world but it still exposes them to all of these different loot boxes and gambling tactics that are embedded in every corner 
of games like rise of kingdoms so i would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below regardless thank you justin for sending me this footage it truly is incredible i am constantly at awe at the level of his account and baba and all these other incredible players here in rise of kingdoms and again as much as i think spending like this in games is questionable at best i play it and i enjoy it so hey i'm i am part of the problem with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and also my opinions mean nothing without yours in the comment section below so let me know what you think about this level of spending in games like rise of kingdoms and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace